Hello. What have you been up to today, Mr. Hammond? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I have just been to see, well, I went to go see uh, the Bloody Ballad of Mary. Oh, I don't know what the last name is now. It's really annoying. Anyway, Bloody Ballad. Um, do you know what the food production is? But, because I know they're based in Wales. They're on our list. Anyway, it was Good amazing. Right it was so good. Um, they had like a whole live band. Like they were all playing the instruments as as they were doing it, and it was like kind of Southern American. Um, but like it was all tied because like the main girl was t kind of telling her story about, and it's kind of about she's obviously like killed somebody, but you kind of you think it's just her father she's killed, but then like other bits comes in. And there's this really cute love story, and it's like ah, oh, I, I hate talking about this sometimes because you don't want to ruin stuff for people. Um, but there's this great line at the end, and it's like, the guy she's with is like, oh. oh hang on, now you're going to ruin it for me. No, it's bad. <laughs> the guy she's with is like, oh, I don't do things by halves, or something along those lines. Um, and so like, at the end of this like, story where like, loads of like, horrible things have happened, and they've both treated each other really badly, because of various reasons. At the end he's like, you know what I said about not doing things by halves? Um, it's really cute. I really like that bit. Um, and it's just quite quirky and weird, which is it's kind of stuff I really like. Um, and hopefully I'm going to go see some alternative comedy. That's the plan. How did you find the energy on the fringe today? It was good. Uh, another yeah. mile. Flowering's been really good. Yeah. Um, saw Nando's girl. That lucky little <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> Um Yeah, it's nice. It's actually di it's really different because first year kind of really properly flowered for a show, and it's just like it's nice because there's like a little. There's a little clique, I don't think you notice when you're just buying tickets, like, yes. Who do you think the main kind of people are interested in coming to watch the show? Still, from flyering? S still 30, 40 year olds, yeah, we were having a chat about that, it's a real shame. Like, we do get a couple, you know, you do, get, you do get some young people, and it's amazing how many people, when you get talking to them, have an opinion. There's a guy who's holding up a sign for a, a falafel uh, house, who I had a great conversation with, and like, the kind of person you would normally associate with this kind of a show. Um, but he had such, you know, such a love opinion about it. We had a really good talk, actually. And I think those are the kind of people who it's really important to get to see the show. There's a lot of people who we don't have to tell. Um, you know, they're, they're quite clued up and they come because they are clued up. But it's the other people. Um, so, you know, we, we were saying it's, I'd like to see more people at our age um, going to the show because there's a lack of awareness, I think. And it's, it's a shame. Yeah. Maybe we should try and do that over the next 10 days, try and convince some young people to get I coming. I guess that's what we should be doing, yeah. mm -hmm. that is kind of our job. <laughs> um, we done? No Good. offense to the old people. Um, so yeah, tomorrow. No star. <laughs> no star.